Yes, my fellow consumers, it is the most capitalist holiday of the year, Black Friday. This is a big event in real life and in Roblox, where people often beat each other up for items, such as TVs, and in Roblox, hats. In the traders and buyers' most important event on the year on Roblox, Roblox held another sale yet again. This sale held some promising items with even UGC creators for the first time putting sales on their own items such as 75%, 30%, and more, especially on their more sold items. However, just before this, some UGC items were put off, making the limiteds worth more this time. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the outcome of the sale. Was it a good sale or was it a bad sale in some comparison? Let's find out. My name is Snooky Alex and this is our Quick Take series. Yo, what's up, Hashtag Nerd Squad, and I hope you had some good sales on Black Friday this year. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be doing a lot of things, from ranging from the pros and cons. However, before we do, if you are new to this channel, I'd appreciate your subscription. I'd really like to get to 900 by the end of the year, and that would mean a lot to me. Thank you. Now, let's get started. In today's video, we are going to start the pros first. Let's get started in our first pro the high prices, and the reduction of copy UGC items. I think the pricing this year was quite reasonable, especially for the more expensive items such as the Ice Valkyrie and the 8-Bit Immortal Sword. Both of these items are valued at around 20,000 Robux each, making for a high profit margin if you do choose to sell these items. Although not part of the actual official sale, the UGC sale items were actually pretty reasonable despite the creators not actually having to do it. Overall, it enabled me to get the items that I wanted to get. And overall, I especially say that Arethia did the nice job of putting her items on sale at a reasonable price, with prices up to 70% downwards. A key point about the limiteds last year is that before and after they went on a time sale and then became a limited, the value of them were definitely increased and decreased, making a low profit margin. As I've learned in stocks and trading, you get your profit revenue by dividing your profit by your actual revenue, and then you times it by 100. Therefore, that will be your percentage of your actual gain. I estimate that due to the sales on Twitter and the hype that I've seen on Twitter, Instagram, and more, the profit margin will be higher this year. What do you guys think? I'd like to let you know in the comments down below or you can leave your own thoughts. Please remember to be respectful. Now on to our next point. I applaud the UGC creators for their effort on Black Friday to create a sale themselves in correlation to the Black Friday sales, which may or may not get Roblox's Twitter to actually notice these sales. Creators such as Reverse Polarity, Trusty Trust, and more have created more items in correlation to the sale, such as Christmas items and more early, so that way you can get a sale on it. If this video is up, I recommend you go check out these items as they may still be on sale even on Monday or Sunday. Some of these creators actually work really hard on these items. One of my favorites is the cartoony Santa hat, which is made by the ship architect. I recommend you go check it out. Some of these hats actually have really intuitive designs. For example, take a look at this Miss Icy Claws by Biazo. I really like the sparkles and the extra touches on this hat that truly makes it a unique and rememberable hat. Overall, on the UGC creator's behalf, I would definitely rate it an 8 out of 10. It was good designs and good pricing, overall making for me to actually snatch a few items myself, if you know what I mean. On to our next point. My favorite item of the Roblox design this year was the 8-bit Immortal Sword. I love the attention to detail and the blocky style and characteristics it gives off the classic series. This was overall my favorite item, but however, there were many great designs not just from UGC creators, but also from Roblox themselves. However, just as there are all these pros, there are also cons that came with the sale. Let's look at them.
This is probably the most disappointing aspect of this sale and it really hindered a lot of people's abilities to actually purchase on the sale. You see, the sale didn't actually start till Saturday, which is, I don't know why, but it just happened kind of thing. Roblox didn't hint at everything on their Twitter, as you can see. They posted Fan Art Friday instead, which is in fact extremely odd for Roblox, considering they hinted at Thanksgiving sales when not all of us celebrate Thanksgiving, and it isn't really as big of an event on Roblox, considering like Black Friday is one of the biggest consumer events on the year. Why wouldn't they catch on on this on Friday, many thought. Even on that day, we only did get one item, so it's not like the hype was that big, and many people were disappointed on that day that we had to wait until Saturday to get Black Friday sales, with no hype or promotion leading up to this sale. It was honestly a very odd marketing tactic, and I wish they could have marketed it further. There were only around seven items that were actually officially on sale by Roblox in this year's sale, but last year there were around 18 to 20 items from what I've heard. This lack of item sale makes it great for bigger players, but for smaller players who wanted a new series such as the Noob Set, etc., Roblox has really been cutting down on their limiteds and making it more of a higher class thing. I feel that this was really disappointing to the more players with less Robux as they could not get as much of the uh, items this year, only being able to afford more of the UGC items or ones targeted to more of lower class players on Roblox. My final thoughts on this sale would be to rate it a 7 out of 10. It was just more of an average sale to me, although I did like some of the selling points, especially by the UGC creators, which will give it extra points. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you can subscribe, or like the video, or even share it with your friends, that really helps me out. Thank you very much, once again, have a nice December the 1st, and I'll see you in the next video.